We're back with the 55 Citroen Traction Avant. I've done some stuff to it off camera and uh, I have some pretty big news about it. So let's talk about it right after this. Hey everyone, this is Carrie's Garage. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for checking in. Don't forget to subscribe, got a bunch of videos. If you're returning, thanks so much, I really appreciate it. So this is the second video on the traction. As you can tell, I've been uh, trying to buff it, clean it out, part of it's done. Uh, I hate buffing cars and cleaning cars, but I wanted to bring it back. So spending some time with it is starting to look really good. But recently I actually bought a engine and transmission, some extra parts for this car, and I got another starter. So I put it in, had to do a few things. I got a little overly ambitious and I kind of forgot to film it because I was really, really excited, but check this out. starts right up. I need to fine tune it a little bit, but it actually runs and I've driven it. We're gonna go take it for a quick drive. So I'm not gonna lie, I am beyond ecstatic that so quickly I was able to get this car going. Now I still have to do a few little things to it. You know, it's been sitting for a while. It does have fresh fuel. I took the carburetor and cleaned it up and uh, I need to do a little bit of fine tuning to it. I know the timing is a bit off. I did replace the turn signal switch so this works now. I do have the correct switch for the timing. This is not right, but it works. So let's go take it for a quick little drive up my road. So you can tell it kind of shifting. It's a, uh, it's a little goofy, but it's fun. I've got you guys set up on the tripod in the car. Uh, hope it's not too wiggly. We'll just go up and down my road real quick. It is registered and insured, it's fully legal. I can't take it out on the road, but we'll do a full driving review on it here pretty soon. But I'm driving it, I'm driving my traction. Never been able to drive one of these before, but I'm driving it. I'll probably like the Beatles say that a bunch of times, but this is really big for me. I, uh, I'm, on cloud nine with this. Fuel gauge doesn't work, I'm gonna have to mess around with that. Like I say, it still needs a few things, and it's an almost 70 year old car, but, oh. there we go. Not a very long video, but I just had to show everyone the fact that it runs and drives now. After as long as it was sitting, having to tinker with it, do a few things, but my excitement is out of this world and I just really wanted to share it because it's so exciting. So really, I'm just going to continue to clean it up, 
buff out the paint, you know, clean the wheels. I really desperately need to get tires for it, so I can't drive it a huge amount because these tires are, ooh, they're, uh, they're sketchy. They do have tubes in it, so that is the saving grace, but I have to get them out of Europe. They're 165, well, yeah, 165 by 400, they're metrics. You can still get them, they're not cheap, but uh, yeah, I gotta order a rubber gasket for the windshield, rubber for this, a couple of trim pieces, a couple of other things. I'm going to eventually, when I start finding all the correct lamps, replace all the lamps to be correct. Um, I'm gonna put a set of yellow headlight bulbs in to make it more French because that's what they would have had in France. And then eventually the goal is going to be to redo the interior and do it kind of correct. I actually have the original seats from my old traction, besides the engine, I get the seats, that's where I got it from. So this is the original upholstery from the 57. And I might see if I can find similar material to mimic it and redo these seats and redo the headliner. Um, I don't want to make it a show car. There's really no point to that to me, but I just want to make it nicer and something that I can really enjoy and drive. And I definitely will. I will drive the wheels off of this thing. I'm so excited. But anyways, just a little check in there on the traction. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and catch you on the next one.